CUDA is a free program which enhances the capabilities of Windows Explorer where you get one pane to view everything in. With this you can have up to four. Simply download the installer which is a zip package, right click and extract it. Now I will extract this to my desktop and I have the installer here. Double click to run it. You can pick your language, accept the agreement, click OK. Now if you're installing this on your main drive, leave these settings as they are. If you want to start by a quick launch icon or desktop, tick whichever you want or untick what you don't want. I'm doing a portable installation to a USB stick so I will change my directory to my USB stick click OK and install it. Now once it's installed the program will automatically open and here it is. As you can see you have four panes to work in rather than opening up different folders and different drives. Now you have the classic four panel view you can have three with the larger one at the top or the larger one at the bottom. You can have two columns, two rows, four columns, four rows. You can have three, again three, and you can have left and right with the larger partitions, or you can have a single pane. We go back to the four. If you click on this one, this will show you uh, the desktop currently. If I click on the C drive, it starts to expand it, uh, which is of more use to advanced users. Now, if we look at extras first, you can start this always as the default, which is normal, the last window position, which I use, with the current window position or maximize start. You can have it screen centered, left edge, right edge, classic design, flat design, and flat, re flat design, and rebar paint. These are not a lot different. You can start it as any of these. I start with the four pane, but if you prefer to work with three or two or columns or rows, then select one of those to start it as that. The list view, if you use a color filter, then items will be color coded. If I go up to my desktop, you can see the installers here are red, they're applications where system folders and file folders are green and so it goes on. If I go into this drive and I look at some photos, they're purple so it's all color coded. So we take this back up a minute and continue with the extras you can have a full row selection, you can show grid lines. You know, this is something you need to play around with and set it up the way it suits you. And again you can use colour filters, bold face, if you hate colours you can take that one. Uh, auto expand, drag over time, folders, all browsable, full row select, and so it goes on. The title bar you can show nothing, show the full path, show the name, or show the last open favorites. The address bar, one for all, all have one, which is four by. If you have one for all, they will all show the same. You can have the classic address bar or the modern address bar, which apparently is like Vista, where you get little icons. So I would take it back to the classic address bar for the time being. Colour and design, you can change the background colour by clicking any of these links down here. Maybe you like Dune and it will change it. You know, it's just something to play around with, but I will put this back to the default. The system, you can show hidden files and folders, hide extensions for known file types. You can add CUDA to the right click context menu. Uh, the system thumbnail size you can change to whatever you prefer what suits your desktop settings. 
network you can connect a drive and disconnect a drive and you have further options which you have the classic design adding QDA to the context menu the address bar with the folder tree drop down select and most of these are pretty explanatory colors if you want to change the colors you can do uh, this is more for advanced users in most cases you can pretty much leave these as they are and the same with the rest of the settings you can pretty much leave them as they are and use the program out of the box as it is now if I go up I want to move this program to another partition I want to put this into there I just drag and drop it and that's it it's gone I also want to put this on an external drive so I just drag it across and drop it and that's it it's done so it's that simple from here I can delete the file from the desktop because I don't want it there anymore and the CUDA I've already got a backup of so I can delete that and the installer I can delete and that then tidies up my desktop again under more tools you can run the registry editor notepad you can edit the WinNe you have task manager command prompt calculator Windows XP and 98 there are further programs that you can run you can add you have commands that you can find find and selected copy and move items you can cut copy paste you can highlight and it's a very simple program to use and it saves opening different folders different drives whatever you can do it all in the one pane which makes it a lot easier to work with and it speeds up the amount of time that it takes to carry out these operations of moving stuff around if you have a load of photos or a lot of music that you have on your main drive and you want to put it on another drive then you just open this and drag and drop it across here you can go down through you have your various drives as you can see there you can go back to the C drive and it really is a very simple program to use and you just drag and drop between files folders or I should say drives and folders and whatever suits you set it up the way that you like it but it is time saving because you don't have different folders open on your desktop it's all in one central location if you want more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk